Hey guys, this is Alex from Alex's Arches and Acceptance Channel. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to react to a video, um, which, uh, I, I, you know, there's a lot of videos uh, with autism, so I think I can make a pretty good series out of this. Um, if you think this is a good idea, then just uh, comment down below uh, saying it's a good idea and I'll keep doing it because uh, I want to know what you guys think this is an experiment, so to speak. Um, but today we're looking at a What Would You Do segment um, on autism discrimination, as the title says. Um, so it, it should be a really interesting video to see um, how the... Uh, the actor behaves, uh, and how the people reacting behave. I'm, I'm really interested in that. So we're going to press play here and see what we think. Next, somebody's out of control, but it's not this kid. Thanks. He has autism. Okay? Is that what? Maybe you should be a uh, stricter parent. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, that happens a lot, like the stricter parent thing. Um, because people think it's obviously a behavioral issue. I want to hear nothing at all. I'm out of here. That's good. Okay. They're standing up, though. Fourteen-year-old Andrew Goring is headed for lunch with his mom. It's one of his favorite activities. Okay. Yet eating out wasn't always easy. Andrew has autism. Yeah, it used to be very going out in public is quite difficult uh, at certain times. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. A lot of challenging behaviors that made it tough for him to be out in the community. I've heard from a family recently that they were out at the park with their child with autism and someone actually came up and accused them of being bad parents. The yeah. diagnosis of autism is on the rise. The CDC estimates that one out of every 88 children in the U.S. has an autism spectrum disorder. So we wanted to see for ourselves how people will react to a child who displays some of the disorder's Very most strong. common signs. We set up our hidden cameras at the Chit Chat Diner in Hackensack, New Jersey. Actors are playing the role of the parents, the daughter, and the son with autism. Keeping things real is Andrew's mother, Lisa Gorin, who happens nice. to represent Autism Speaks, the nation's largest autism science and advocacy group. As I Ooh, this was made a while ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Our scenario begins. Anthony, our 14-year-old actor, is already starting to attract attention. Eggs. Eggs. I want eggs. 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 Repetitive language and behavior eggs. are classic signs of autism. I want eggs. My okay. sister's got a lot of food. eggs. Okay. For the next several minutes, Anthony fidgets. Okay. He wanders around and generally ignores his parents' requests. Anthony, you want to yeah, he's clearly uh, doing a lot of stemming here, uh, which is understandable because public places can be really stressful and, like, you need something to uh, calm yourself down, so I get this. Come back here. Come on, let's go sit down. No one seems hey, too bothered great. about his behavior. Sorry again. All right. Except, that is, for this man. Excuse me. Can you just, you know, we're, we're in a public place here. Can you, I mean, maybe we should go home, all right? Or can you, you know, take... Yeah, those those comments are pretty normal, unfortunately. Um, that they, they're definitely on the decline, but they have happened. But he's an actor too, and in the absence of any reaction from others, we ask him to respond the way some people unfortunately do. Anthony's father tries leveling with our disgruntled diner. He has autism. Okay. Is that what? But then moments later, Anthony knocks his glass over. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe you should take him home. And that's what our diner's behavior draws attention. Maybe, maybe you should show a little discipline or something. He's, he's out of control. This man looks like he wants to say something, but he's too horrified to speak. As other customers try to comfort the mom, this school teacher finally finds his voice. His outburst prompts others to offer some choice words of their own. Wait, keep your mouth shut! Eat and keep your mouth shut! You're the one that's jumping, everybody. You're just upsetting the whole place. Good for them. 
but that, that's awesome to see. Like those are totally real reactions. I I I I, I can tell. You know, if, if my son, I'm sorry, if my son was here, I would not want to be here in a public place and be reacting like that. Shut up. You know, forget it. Forget it. I He's an actor, but like that, that's pissing me off, you know. Just you know what? I just want to get my check. Sure. Guys, can I can I get my check? You know. That, that's the reaction I want to get. And with that, our diner walks out. Time to let everyone in on our secret. You caught me off guard. I got to tell you, you caught me off guard. Do you okay now? You're in yeah. tears, huh? Well, why does it touch you? Because my heart went out to the kid, you know? We're doing this because it happens in real life. I know, and I understand. See, it's it's just wrong. I can't believe you guys did this. <laughs> real quick, when was this made? Because this seems a little... 2012, okay. And it's by Autism Speaks. We're not going to get into that, but like we're, we're solely focusing on the what would you do here. We're angry. I was very very upset and, and angry I, I, being Italian you, you get emotional it just got me upset to see a child being treated this way as a teacher this is exactly how you need to act you weren't gonna let it happen oh no no he was gonna go down quickly I believe that for Bob not to eat <laughs> he was quite upset <laughs> Now, if you're finding it hard to believe that anyone would mistake autistic behavior for misbehavior, listen to this. I'll tell you what autism is in 99% of the cases. It's a brat who hasn't been told to cut the act out. That's what autism is. Bruh. 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 Nope. Michael Savage hosts a nationally Oh, I have heard of this guy. He's a nuisance in this community. <laughs> what do you mean they scream and they're silent? They don't have a father around to tell them don't act like a moron, you'll get nowhere in life. Stop acting like a putz. Whew. Yeah, this was more like 2012. <laughs> Let me tell ya. Man, think times were different back then. His comments sparked protests. Okay. All right. And yet Savage insists the disorder is overdiagnosed. We reset the scene. That may be true because of like uh, more personal self diagnosis and not as many professionals. Uh, but even still, like all experiences are valid. So uh, the guy has a terrible attitude, bottom line and run our scenario again only this time we try to garner sympathy for our solo diner by having anthony steal from his plate again oh, I'm sorry. what are you doing i'm sorry and the kid just stole a fire on my plate I'm... i haven't experienced i think i haven't done this myself but like i have seen people do it um i'm, I'm sorry and again Hey, yo, dude, come on, what's going on? But no one seems too concerned. Excuse me. I, am, am I off? Did you see what that kid did? Yeah, but I think he has a problem. That's a problem. problem. What kind of problem is he? Like Asperger's or something. Asperger's ain't a problem, though, right? It's just a, a, it's just different. It's not a problem. I mean, there are some struggles with it, but it's not a problem. Uh, this was this is a little too old for my my taste. He looks perfectly normal to me. I mean, you know, why don't they like take him home or something? Because they want him to learn how to eat. Any That's chance cool. of our actors scoring points with this crowd is quickly like, lost. Do hard situations. When he offers the parents some unwanted advice. With all due respect, maybe you should be a uh, stricter parents. I mean, let the kid go home. Because that him. really is rude. What you're doing right now? I don't want to hear. Like, uh, I want to hear nothing. At all. You're being very rude and disrespectful to these people right here. I don't know you for nothing. I don't okay? know. But I have a little compassion in my heart. I'm sure along with everybody okay. in this room. And Why? you're being a jerk. Why right do you have to speak so loud? Okay. I don't because you're embarrassing them. With that, we tell let's our go. family go. to let's get up go. and leave. We'll just try it another time. It's too upsetting. I don't. But I don't, this don't woman want. is determined to stop it. It's one person. I'm really upset. Yeah, I don't want you to. Like, there's just, like, one person who tries to ruin the whole thing sometimes. It, it's messed up. People just need to have, like, patience. It's, it, it's not that difficult. Another woman chimes in. We're just ignorant. It's a little bit 
Facts. embarrassing <laughs> for us a little bit, and it's not. It's well, not you the two women convince our family to stay and tell our diner to leave. You have set the entire place. If I am the only one who feels like this, I'm out of here, okay? Nobody, nobody goes. Yeah. I'm not coming back here. We wait for the diner to bid a hasty retreat, and then it's time for us to make our entrance. Tell us why you uh, got involved. I could see there was something wrong with them, and that guy was just being so... Nothing wrong with it. So rude, and I'm like, God, this is like, where's the cameras? Because this is just like that. She was gonna leave, oh my and God. you stopped her. Yeah, because she was crying and everything too, and that's not right for one person to make such a big stink. And remember the man. Yeah, addressing that it can be like very stressful for like parents to take their kids out in pub public. Um, so I I I understand the crying. And with the zero tolerance policy, I don't want to hear. I want to hear nothing. He is a police officer. If we had children and one of them was like that, never in a million years would I want anybody to do what he did. He wouldn't tell me. No. What if it uh, What if it bothers you a little bit? He's a little too loud. He drops things. So what? It's okay. You know what I mean? He He has to be out in public, right? You can't put anybody in a bubble and just leave them there. The entire. Amen to that, bro. Th this guy knows what he's talking about. The entire time our cameras were rolling, not one of the diner's customers was critical of our young actor's behavior. As he should be. Or his parents' ability to control him. Perhaps it speaks to a growing awareness of autism symptoms. Or that more people know someone with a disorder. But for least Yeah, and that's almost doubled as of 2021. Lisa Goring, who remembers how difficult dining out with her son used to be, it's a day filled with compassion and understanding. The most touching thing for you today? Time after time that someone would come to the defense of the family and of the individual. That's really to make, you know, every family a part of the community. Oh gosh, yeah, we're just going to click away from that. <laughs> uh, well, that was awesome. I, I enjoyed that very much. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this right, this video right here, um, be sure to smash the like button and, uh, let me know if we should do more of these, uh, cause I really enjoyed what this had to say. So yeah, see ya.